Hello and welcome to this video on how to install Oracle Database on your own computer. In this video, I'll show you how to download Oracle Database, install it on your own computer, and then test the connection. To start with, open up an internet browser such as Chrome or Internet Explorer, or Edge if you're on Windows 10. I'm going to use Chrome for this demo. Next, go to oracle.com. Once the Oracle website loads, you'll need to access the downloads for the Oracle database from the menu here at the top. Now, depending on when you go to the Oracle website, the menu might look different, but you'll need to go to the menu and then to downloads and trials and then database and then Oracle database. This will download the full version of Oracle database onto your computer. You can also download Oracle Express which I'll demonstrate how to do in a separate video. So this is the download page for Oracle Database. It looks pretty standard to the Oracle download page as you'll see in other sections. First, you'll need to accept the license agreement. Then you'll have several options for the databases you want to download. You can download Oracle Database 12C Release 2 at the top here. You can download Release 1 down the bottom, either Enterprise or Standard Edition. You can also download version 11 and also version 11 Express Edition, which like I said, I'll come to in a different video. So for now, I'm going to download Oracle Database 12C Release 2. This is the latest version here. You can download it for your operating system by finding the operating system in the list here, which is Windows, and then clicking on the file to download. If the current version has one file, then that's all you'll need to download. If it has two files, such as these versions here, you'll need to download two different files. For now, I'm going to click on this file here to download it. You'll then need to either create an Oracle account or use an existing Oracle account to download the file. I already have an Oracle account, so I'm going to log in using my existing account. Once you've entered your details, click on Sign In. Oracle Database will then start downloading. Depending on your browser settings, it will either start automatically or you'll need to save the file in a certain location. In the interest of time, I'll fast forward through the download process and look at the setup process. So now the file is finished downloading. If you've downloaded two files, you'll have two files in this folder here. The next step is to unzip or extract these files. Depending on the program that you've got installed, you can either double click on it to open it or right click on the file and go to extract. I'm just going to extract it to the same folder here. This might take a little while, so I'll fast forward to when this is finished. Now the extraction has finished. You can open up the folder here. Now if you've downloaded two files from Oracle, you'll need to go into the second folder that you extracted and copy those files into the first folder you extracted. This is because the installer for Oracle Database needs all the files in the same folder. But you don't need to do it for this version because it's all in the one file. So now open the database folder here and then run this setup file here as administrator by right clicking on it and selecting run as administrator. Click on yes if you see a message like this. You'll see this screen here for a short while and then the launcher will be displayed. The Oracle database release installer will then appear. There are 10 steps all up. The first step here is optional. It asks you for your email address which you can provide to be informed of security issues. You don't need to enter your email address. You can also uncheck the box here that says security updates for my Oracle support, but it's up to you if you want to enter your details here. For this video, I won't, so I'll click next. This is just a confirmation message, so click yes. On this screen here, you get asked if you want to create and configure a database, install database software only, or upgrade an existing database. The first option here will install the software and create a database for you, which is what we're going to do. The second option is just about installing the Oracle database software and no database is created. The third option is upgrading an existing database from 11G to 12C, for example. For this video, we're going to stick with the first option, create and configure a database. So click next. We have two options here, either desktop or server class. 
For this example, I'm installing it on my laptop, so we're going to stick with desktop class. If you're following along at home, then you'll want to select desktop class as well. Server class is if you're installing it onto a server system. Select desktop class and click next. This option here lets you specify if you want to run Windows services from the Oracle home with a non-administrator account. For this example video, I'm just going to leave it as the default option of use virtual account and click next. This step here lets you configure some of the settings for your installation. The first three options, Oracle base, software location and database file location, you can leave as the default values. The database edition is either Standard Edition 2 or Enterprise Edition. For this example, I'm just going to install Standard Edition 2. You can choose your character set here, enter in your global database name, ORCL, and create a container database if you're interested in that as well. I'm going to leave that all checked and the default, except for changing the database edition, and then click Next. An error message has come up because I haven't given a password field. So you'll need to enter a password here Enter in a password and make sure you remember it, because you'll need to enter it later when you log on to the database for the first time. Confirm your password in the second text box. There's a message at the bottom of the screen that may appear that says the admin password entered does not conform to Oracle recommended standards. This is up to you whether you want to put in a simple password for your own testing or a more complicated password. I've just put in a simple password, so I'll click next. Then I want to confirm that I want to stick with that simple password. Some verification is done to make sure I meet the requirements of installing the Oracle database. This error appears because my path variable is too long for Oracle to install. If you're installing this for the first time, you probably won't receive this error. So let's skip past it. Once the prerequisites have passed, you get a summary screen here, which you can review and then click install. The Oracle database will then be installed, which may take some time. Once the installation is finished, you'll get this message here. You'll also get shown this link here, which you can use to access more information about your database. Once that's finished, click close. Now, Let's test that Oracle database was installed successfully. To do this, we need to open up a command prompt. At the command prompt here, type in SQL plus, which is the command line tool, then type in system, which is the user we're going to log in as. You'll then be prompted for a password. Enter the password that you created when you installed Oracle Database. Once you enter the password, the SQL prompt will be shown here. So now that you've logged into the Oracle Database, we've confirmed that Oracle was installed successfully. So that concludes this video on installing Oracle Database on a Windows environment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos on Oracle SQL and databases. Thanks for watching.